a smile high here. Another phone video. Okay, so the NFL is gonna start today. Buccaneers, Cowboys, and uh, yeah, I think Buccaneers are gonna win that game for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, this is my final video about Bridgewater until the season starts, until he proves me wrong. This is going through a history lesson of the Broncos and veteran quarterbacks, young, just fucking quarterbacks. So. Our, the only like young quarterbacks that we drafted in like the first two rounds None of them have worked out And it's true Tim Tebow he won a playoff game, but that year <laughs> AFC West was garbage um, You know Tebow was good and all but we fucking scrapped him for Manning right away and rightfully so because Manning was a proven commodity the first veteran we got, you know, first veteran we got, and he's proven to be, like, he's an MVP Super Bowl champion. He's a real G, and uh, he's elite. Speaking of elite, we're going to get to him. You know who I'm talking about. So he was elite, and, you know, obviously, he gave us four years of good, of good football. Good football, my favorite four-year span of football in my life. There was some fucking... Depressing moments. Uh, first year, fucking Raheem Moore, that bastard. Second year, don't want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> third year, fucking the Colts game was terrible, man. They didn't show up. But the fourth year, he got the damn ring. So, and then pro post Manning, <laughs> we drafted his quarterback named Paxton Lynch out of Memphis. Did not work out at all. He sucked. He kept playing Xbox. He, he was terrible, man. And this was a bust. John Elway. Terrible move. Our worst draft pick in probably the last 10 years. For sure. Um, yeah. Then we bring... Then we use this guy named Simeon. He just kept getting hurt, but he's solid, I guess. I don't know. Then we move on from Simeon. We sign... We sign Case Keenum. You know... A year after, you know, getting his team to the conference final, conference championship game. Yeah, they got blown up, but he got there. Yeah. Then he didn't work out, which I thought they should have just kept them in. They should have kept them in Denver. Then they bring in Flacco for nothing. And he's a statue. He sucks. He's a cancer. He doesn't He doesn't want to teach Drew Locke anything. Oh, yeah, we drafted a quarterback that year, too, named Drew Locke. And then Drew Locke, then Brandon Allen comes in. Who cares? I'm not. I'm gonna skip through the like the no names. <laughs> uh, Drew Locke comes in, goes four and one, looks pretty promising, and we're hyped for this for 2020. Then COVID happens, garbage happens, and then our team, no Vaughn, no Cortland. Then just a bunch of injuries, underperforming by Drew Locke, Brett Ripon, Jeff Driscoll, terrible year, and everyone. And uh, yeah, that sucks too. Um, then we get Teddy Bridgewater in a trade for nothing because he's nothing. And he went to the job for no reason because the quarterback competition's rigged. And that's really it. You know, that's the story. Um, I know I skipped through a lot, but that's the main shit. And, uh, yeah, I'm just saying our veteran quarterback signings have been all terrible. And Bridgewater's going to be the, not going to be the exception. He's going to suck this year. And this is not reverse psychology. This is not hoping for the best. He's going to suck. And he's going to get benched by week five. Mark my word. I don't want him to suck. I want him to play good. I want him to prove me wrong. I want to look like an asshole. I want to look like an ass. I want everyone to clown me in the comments. But I'm going to be right. When Bridgewater gets benched by week five, it's not going to look good. We're going to be, Fancher's are going to be fired. Our, like, Shermer's going to get fired the same day. I think Munchak would probably be our interim coach by then. And I don't know who would be our offensive coordinator. Or I don't know if we'll keep Don until I don't know. That That's what's going to happen, really. That's my prediction. I hope it's not true. But that's why I feel like it. Because they just give up on Locke. Yeah, their first three quarterbacks they drafted under the John Elway era weren't that good. Brock Osweiler, he, but Brock Osweiler and Tebow did stuff, kind of. Well, no, no, Tebow was drafted by fucking McDaniels. Ah, that didn't count. The first two quarterbacks drafted in the John Elway era. Um, 
yeah, Osweiler did stuff, you know, in that 2015 season. You got to give credit for him. He sucks overall, but, you know, in that year, he helped our team win games. And then fucking Lynch was garbage. And then Locke, we have no... Yeah, he was bad last year. But we have no... No chance. He has no chance to earn his way back to number one, QB1. Because they won't... Because paid in Elway, they want a veteran quarterback. Okay, this is why veteran quarterbacks suck here. Unless they're proven commodities. Like, Joe Flacco, we knew he was past his prime and we got him anyway. Case Keenum, he wasn't proven. You know, I still think we should have kept him for one more year, like as a bridge quarterback. Well, we got a bridge quarterback now, Bridgewater. And, uh, yeah, I know people are excited for the season. We got an easy schedule, but the Broncos are not going to make it easy, man. They have to have a very good defense. And, you know, hopefully Teddy can actually be good and prove me wrong. But I just have no faith in him. I have zero faith in him. Zero. Zero, zero, man. Like, I just, I hate this team getting his veteran quarterbacks, putting them in, and they're just going to sh shit the fucking bed, man. They're going to shit the bed. And, yeah, Paxton Lynch sucked overall. But, like, Drew Locke, we didn't give him a shot. Yeah, last year was bad, but he was hurt. He was hurt, no sudden. But, again, he sucked. He did. It was terrible last year. He won us some good games. Majority, majority of the sample size... He sucked, but this this was the year to give him another shot. No, we go, we go with Bridgewater. We go with Bridgewater. What's Bridgewater? Who's where's what team's Bridgewater gonna play next year? He's probably gonna go to the fucking CFL next year. Okay, that's why I believe Bridgewater's gonna be in the CFL next year or another backup. He's gonna be a backup again, probably with the Cowboys or some team that needs a backup, and they won't start him because he sucks. Okay, and then we have to have. If we're mediocre, we're not going to get a good quarterback unless we have to trade up. Like, the free agents, who's there's not that many free agent quarterbacks. Like, Aaron Rodgers, I don't, I still don't believe he's coming here. I don't care about these fans that think, oh, we have to play good for Aaron Rodgers. Fuck Aaron Rodgers. He's not coming here. You know? Like, we're going to have a lot of cap next year, but we're not going to spend it on quarterback. Like, it's just, it sucks, man. This team kills quarterbacks. It's not... Oh, is the quarterback's fault, really? Especially, it's not Drew Locke's fault. It's just, this fucking team sucks. They're developing quarterbacks. They can't find them. They can't find a quarterback. Um, certain situations, they don't draft a quarterback. And in other situations, they do. And then, fucking, it's just timing. This team's bad at timing. You know, we could have had Josh Allen. Uh, we would probably ruin them and turn them into trash, but... We could have had him. I like Bradley Chubb, but he's, like, injury prone. But I think he's he's a great player. But, you know, we could have had Josh Allen. We could have had Quinn Nelson, too. Um, to help our O-line. Like, this... Man. I just want John Elway gone. I want a new owner. George Payton. I don't know where the fuck he's going to go. Probably in a couple of years he'll be fired. Because, you know, he's not going to know what the fuck he's doing. And that's really it. Bridgewater. Good luck, man. I hope you prove me wrong, but I guarantee you, you're going to be gone in Denver. You're going to be gone. The fans are going to hate you. They didn't cheer for you when you walked by in the first, last preseason game, and they're not going to cheer for you when you keep get, taking L's, like throwing little dunk, dink and dunks. You know, oh, if this team plays safe in offense, if this team plays safe in offense, this defense is gonna do everything. No, they're gonna play like shit on offense. They can't. They won't score. They'll average like 17 points a game. Like a fucking middle, like a starter in the NBA. They'll average 17 points per game. It's so it's gonna be bad, man. Brandon McManus is gonna be our leading scorer in points. It's gonna be a mess. And I hope, again, I hope I'm wrong. But this is my last address to Bridgewater. Prove me wrong. Make me look like an asshole. Make me look like a retard. Make me look like a Richard. Whatever. I hope Bridgewater proves me wrong. At the same time, I hope he gets benched and they put Locke and give him a shot. If he sucks, then oh well, we get a new quarterback. If he's good, then we keep him. Take Bridgewater and kick him to the fucking other side of the country. Okay? That, that's my thoughts. Peace.